Hello, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, my dear students. So, what is Doll E? So, Doll E is actually a company made by OpenAI. As you can see, here is their logo OpenAI by the Sam Altman Company, funded by Microsoft, Elon Musk, and who not. So, this is a company which is really cool in putting AI into the main consumers like you and me. So what do they do? So actually you can have any text in your head and you will get a picture in its response. It's like a text to image AI. For example, if you have in your head something like Marlon Monroe in a very beautiful clothes, looking beautiful, looking in the camera and blah, blah, blah. This is the prompt probably that you're going to get from doll E if you have hit everything properly. We are going to work on that later. I'll show you how to do that. Then if you have a prompt like I want a cat or a dog or anything like that, it should look smart and it should have a tie, something like that. And you may or may not add glasses, but AI may add glasses and it may look smart because according to AI, putting glasses to something may look may make it look smarter and better and whatnot. Then you have another prompt where you say, okay, Marlon Monroe in a city kind of an environment, the backdrop should be pop art and she should be wearing something what young girls or Gen Z's are wearing in their twenties. She should look young. She should be looking confident and blah, blah, blah. And this is exactly the prompt that you get. It's that easy to do it. Not only that actually, but if you see the backdrop that I'm using for this presentation, it was also created by an AI, but not Dolly, some different kind of an AI. So I'm all surrounded by AI, 100%. You can also use Dolly to create uh, your uh, thumbnails, for example. This thumbnail was partially created by AI and partially created by a human. Yes, yours truly, instructor. So we can use Dolly for a bunch of stuff. It's really easy to use. I'm going to show you how you do that, why you do that, when you do that. And I think we should really start with it let's do it the question that pops up in your head or probably in the head of a lot of people is that why do we need dolly why do we need things like text to images ai or text to pictures ai like what is the purpose why do we need to have text to image ai and what not and why ai in general so the answer is really simple to save us time to save us probably money efforts and a bunch of other stuffs because if something's making life easier, then why not implement it in our life? That is one of the biggest reasons. And number two, every company on the planet, every company, when I say every company, hopped on in the metaverse wagon, they hopped on in the Bitcoin wagon, crypto wagon, whatever wagon, whatever is the most trendy thing in the market. Right now, when we are in the fall of 2023, while I'm recording this, the most trendy thing in the market is AI. So everyone is hopping on it. 90% of them are literally just going to be like the crowd watching the rest of the 10% succeed. Now it's in your hands whether you want to be in the part of 10% or you want to be a part of the rest of the 90%. Probably I want you all to be a part of the 10%. And why 10%? Be the 1% of the 10%. Super exclusive, okay? So this is why we need Doll E and other text to AI and other AI tools in general to make our lives better and better and better. So the interface of Dolly is very simple, very easy. When you can actually put text like or prompts like colorful splashes of paint, geometric abstract art, and something pops up. It looks cool, yeah? It looks really better. And then this pop art, refreshing glass of lemonade, pop art. And there you have bang, like uh, an Aladdin thing. It's quite good. And then you have something like this, a colorful lighthouse a colorful point tilisma painting of a lighthouse shining onto the water then you have got this and you can download it and you can use it for any purposes whatsoever so it's quite cool to have an ai buddy by your side when you can use it for a lot of purposes so that is why we need dolly and in the next one i'm going to teach you how you can get your hands on dolly are you ready for that see you in the next one so now we are into how are we going to do with Dolly? Like we know what is Dolly, we know all of that, we know why Dolly, all of that. But how can you actually get your hands on Dolly? The reason why you are watching me right now. 
how do you get your hands on this tool so you can create images like this and this and this anytime at the click of your finger how can you use this tool called doll e which sounds so weird because it has a doll and then a hyphen and then an e how can you use that so you can create these images and impress people who are important to you in your life well the answer is really simple you got to have something like the Google Bing I'm sorry the Microsoft Bing browser so I have a Microsoft browser as you can see that's my account here Manas hey there and I have this browser and I have my picture here as well so you need to have a browser called the Microsoft Bing I know most of 99% of you use Chrome or Firefox or whatever or Brave or Safari but you need to have a browser which is called the Microsoft Bing browser in order to use doll e okay so that is the condition that is how it works so you need to have that and once you have that you need to sign up in order to use it because with only Bing browser things like dolly and the GPT comes free no matter what and in a day you get 90 actually 100 credits I used four of them so I've left with 96 you get 96 credit basically means around 96 images at least and you can have images like this and 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 this, and this. just remember always remember sometimes your prompt is not going to be entertained by the AI because it thinks it is derogatory or it is not fair or unsafe whatever it might not be the scenario but because AI is a little judgmental and a little you can call AI a little racist in some ways or maybe not racist maybe it's been programmed that way to play a little safe game in the beginning because we're in the beginning of AI and AI doesn't want to harm any one of us either physically mentally emotionally socially whatever and because most of them are American companies so they want to play a little safe in the beginning like Microsoft so some of your prompts may not be entertained not to worry do it again and you will see good results from your side so this is how it goes this is how you use uh, the doll e ring for free while other people are paying for it on GPD you use it for free because you have taken the right course so you enjoy the benefits by the way this is a nice picture a musical festival with colorful lasers confetti and a huge dancing crowd let me show you how the AI reacts to this so it's a musical festival it's a musical festival because there's stage and people so that's the first check then we have colorful lasers you as you can see lasers green blue red here there everywhere then you have confetti you can see confetti here and then on a huge dancing crowd that's a huge dancing crowd that's a well done job by AI we need to applaud it for that well done so we are going to work a lot with that but always remember respect AI get respect from AI and we're going to have a lot of fun with Dolly so let's do it Music